Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasley, and we're gonna start a fresh run. Hopefully this time we're gonna get rescued. I'm not gonna back down, I'm gonna stay on a normal difficulty. Um, this time I might try something different in terms of our kids. But yeah, let me quickly explain the menu. People have been asking, like, like, why don't you select something different, like scavenge or survival? That sounds awesome. See, Apocalypse is pretty much scavenge and survival together. So if you go for scavenge, you can just run around a 3D house, collect items in 60 seconds and it's over. And survival will give you just a handful of random items. Um, so you don't have to just do the scavenging mode, which I do like. I think it's fun to run around 60 seconds and grab whatever you can. Let's go into the apocalypse. Fat man, normal difficulty. I'm not backing down. We're doing this. We can do this. No problem. And let's let let our atomic adventure begin. Hey, daughter. Okay, so oh, that's actually nice, nice layout here. I like this. Okay, we got playing cards here. What what do they want from the radio? They want bug spray. I don't know why I want that, but whatever. Here, give me that. Radio, yep. Kid, yep. Like this. Okay, ooh, rifle. Uh, we'll take this as well. Thank you very much. Um, don't see anything over here, so I'll just skip over to this place. Ah, oh, there's a map and a medikit. Good. Yeah, I like the layout of this setup, um, of this house. Actually, quite nice. Uh, let's grab more food. Oh, wait, oh, full already? Oh, I forgot medikits are too. That cost me a valuable second, at least. Hey, wife, I need you. We need adults in the shelter. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab my daughter. Yeah, why not? Give me this Boy Scout book. That's coming in handy. And the last one is probably gonna be for food and water, so I'm just gonna stand here. Yerp, yerp, yerp. You know what? I might be able to grab something else, like the gas mask. Ah, that was so close. Well, I got myself a gas mask. My plan for this episode is... <sighs> Let the kids die. Something along those lines. I, I, I'm intending to not necessarily feed them. Or at least only maybe feed them once, but as soon as they're sick, they're out. Um, as soon as I can send them out for an expedition. I'm not interested. Alright, so we got into the shelter. The best shelter stock that we've ever seen. Let's have a quick uh, look. So we got the kids, we got the Boy Scout book. A human can survive for just four days without water. I heard three, but hey, who am I? Um, rifle. Not a map. That's an issue. That's that's a biggie. No map. Not cool. But playing cards and a radio. And an axe. So we can do some things like the Donald Bud Jack event. But if they want the map, we're screwed. And I know this game. This game kind of likes to play off the fact that I forgot items. Uh, not doing too well on the waterfront. So definitely a good idea to send uh, one of my silly kids out there. And since... What's her name? God, I forgot your name. Mary Jane. I can't remember your silly name. Mary Jane isn't worried. Well, and I forgot her name. So, yeah, since everyone is fine, this is great. No food for anyone, but we're preparing an expedition, and I think we're gonna send Mary Jane out. She's probably gonna come back sick. Actually, she might come back just fine, because we do have the mask. And the mask is gonna protect her from the rough outland, wasteland thing. Alright, thirsty, water, 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 water. Okay, so here's the deal. I will, oops, sorry, I will give you all water. Because I'm gonna send, wait, actually, yeah. Let's not give her water, because she's gonna come out, she's gonna come back, she's gonna be thirsty. But he might leave if we don't give him water. So, let's do that. Mary Jane. When she's out, she doesn't need any food. So, let's just, just ignore her for the time being. Could have waited another day with the water. That was actually a mistake. Anyway. Gotta, gotta remember that. Okay. Everyone is very brave. Nothing new is going on. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. When we tried other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Are all the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with our radio to increase its range. No. No, 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 no. No, you're gonna break it. Don't take it with the radio. Silly man. Man. That sounds like a stupid idea. We're, we're sure they're experiencing technical issues. Yeah, kind of being, being blown up by a nuclear bomb. That's, that's, up. Uh, the fly, the fly. Got it. Uh, being blown up by a bomb is kind of a technical issue. At least I would declare it that. 
Yeah, what, what kind of press announcement would that be if you're stationed with people on the way by a nuclear... Probably none. Never mind. So, time to ration... Uh, wait, did you? Did anyone want some? No. No, all is good. <sighs> I, just, I just feel that they could survive so much longer without food. Water, on the other hand. Kind of screwed that up. Timmy doesn't eat much, he should drink. Not eaten. Okay, so Dolores food. Alright, let's give Dolores some food. We're gonna give him drinking in the next one. We had planned to go to Niagara Falls. We we're expected to get a waterfall of our very own in our shelter. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me, game. You gotta be kidding me, I'm losing my playing cards. Well... Guess who's not gonna get food? It's Timmy. Oh, she's back! And she brought nothing. Or what? All right, the radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage is done. Was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this will take us days. And what's that smell? All right, nothing made us happy of Jane return. Ah, I'm not too sure about that. Okay, expedition noticed a group of scavengers. We didn't know them yet. They didn't have any reservations about scavenging the area. Clear. All right, we stole a backpack and we got a deck of cards. Well, isn't that an interesting... Event. Okay, so Mary Jane could use a little food. Timmy's very hungry, but he should drink. So here's the, here's the deal, deal, kids. I don't love you anymore. And we're gonna send Timmy. We're gonna send Timmy tomorrow, even though he's thirsty and tired. We're not feeding you anymore. We're gonna send the adults out in and out, and just not gonna care about them. Okay, Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Yes, yes, yes. They're all they're all very hungry. Um, Ted is hungry. Okay, hey Ted, get some get some get some water, and let's send Timmy. I think Mary Jane is gonna disappear soon. No, oh, she's still there. Brave little soul. Uh, Ted is hungry. Okay, and Ted is hungry. Good. Here you go, boy. We thought life could be much better, couldn't be, oh, could be much better, right. Yeah. I think anything before a nuclear blast is better. Look at our daughter, she's a fighter. She doesn't want to go anywhere. Okay, she's quite hungry, she can we spare some water? Ah, eh, is overrated. Dolores has not eaten in days and she wants water. Why do you need two times water and food? Okay, let's ignore water for anyone right now, just feed both of them. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little filter. Instantly, there isn't much we can miss, so when a single brick fell out... Oh yeah, right. Let's see what the source of the smell is. Don't, don't ignore it. Look inside, embrace the smell, become one with it. Or something. Alright, daughter's gone on, she broke the red. You gotta be kidding me! Sorry about that, but come on. The radio, really? She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder. No, she didn't break the radio, so what happened? We approached the hole cautiously. What happened gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent, sorry, some crazed rodent, a reptile, or whatever this crazy mad creature was, leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it before we could do anything. It pushed our radio off the table and went back to the hole we crawled from. We never saw it again and destroyed it. Okay, that's fantastic. So... Let's take a little inventory here. We don't have a radio. We don't have. Well, this is gonna be this is gonna be boring, isn't it? This is gonna be great. Well, she stormed off. Maybe Timmy's gonna come back. But man, this is not easy. I don't think Timmy's gonna come back. Let's let's be honest about that. Timmy is not coming back. Maybe we can find someone on the run. Okay. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Let's give him some food. Yeah, there's no radio. We're just gonna go crazy in here. I mean, we are. Okay, still no Timmy. Maybe tomorrow. Don't see anything. Nothing is happening. It's just skipping through days right now in the hopes that something good is gonna happen to us. Still no Timmy. Yeah, I don't think he's coming back. Water, water. Okay. Running out of water, that's fantastic. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. We can't do anything, though, because we don't have a radio. Ugh, this is nasty. Okay, Timmy's back. Hey, Timmy. Timmy brought water and food, and he's sick. Ugh, go away, Timmy. Ugh, look at him. He's totally icky. Ugh. 
All right, we were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back and he's safe with us now. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. Local school is a big building. Okay, so we got that from the school. Everybody adored the lunch day. She was lunch lady. She was almost 80 and everything she touched tasted great and smelled of tomato. Now we know her secret, tomato soup cans. Good, one soup, two water. That's great. And a gas mask and a map. Timmy, you're the best, Timmy. Man, Timmy, you're awesome. Timmy's sick, though. And it's another mouth to feed. Sorry, Timmy. Sorry. We appreciate your sacrifice. Um, Hungry, hungry. Here you go. We appreciate your sacrifice, and I might feed him. Nah. Nah, he's not going to be able to go out for a while, and I will have to... Ooh, he's eager to help. Okay. Okay, Timmy, here's some... F Let's give him some food. If we can send him out again... I'm going to try that. Absolutely. I'm considering healing him to send him out again next day because he's eager to go out. I will heal him in the hopes that, well, then he's going to be better, obviously. And he's, uh, you know, well fed and whatnot. See, he's normal again. And we should be able to send him out. Timmy was cured. Doesn't need much, but he should drink. Okay. Okay, so let's let's just send him out. Yeah, let's send him out. Let's not feed him. Anyone like like do they want something? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, Timmy. You should go out without food or water. That should motivate you. Ah, oh, kids are great. I mean I don't want them, but kids are great in this game. Uh some water. Dolores should get it, and Ted is really thirsty. Yeah, it must be so exhausting. Don't, don't, don't mention Timmy. Timmy's gonna be fine out there. He did it once, he can do it again. He better bring a medikit if he wants to be healed. We'll see. Where's that radio static coming from? Because it's pretty broken. Okay, everyone's calm, everything's fine, we just can skip that day. Ooh, the trash is becoming full of empty soup cans. And the unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Ugh. Alright. Let's use the Boy Scout book to deal with the situation. I don't want to get sick or anything. How, how, how do you deal with the bucket? Glowing box might have been more than enough to drive us out to the waste and roaches are the worst. Yes. Well, they're hungry. Here, here you go. Feast yourself on the tomato soup. I wonder why they went for tomato soup. Dun, 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 Okay, let's see. If there's one thing we need to do is a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast. No, really. No, no, no shit. Sorry, uh, that might be transmitted in our area, and it's either that, or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. First option sounds a bit more sane. Water's all Dolores wants, and water's all that Ted needs. Not today, tomorrow maybe. And we can't sleep, we don't have a medikit, so we can't do much about that, we're just gonna be tired. Yeah, we're insane, lovely. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, okay. Uh, Dolores will not last long without water, Dolores' sanity is questionable, and she's really tired. Ted is really thirsty and he has gone crazy. Fantastic. Okay. Thirsty. Here you go, guys. <sighs> okay. Timmy? No, Timmy. Damn it. Unless I get a message saying that Timmy isn't. Nope. Timmy can sneak like a little secret agent man, but that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camp near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. Damn it! Okay, planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Dolores has rested, there isn't much going on, no trouble, nothing new. Time to ration supplies. Okay, they don't want anything, we should prepare something. Ooh, perfect. So we can send her, I don't know what's about Ted, I think Ted is crazy, that's why we can't send him. Hope he's gonna get better soon. Being alone in the shelter definitely won't help. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the ruins of our house above. We overheard them talking, one of them mentioned they captured a woman, damn it! Ah, why did I send her? It said raiders were nearby. I didn't think that it was actually they were still a buy. Well, that's that's great. Yeah, we should go outside. Ted can't go outside. No way. Well, maybe maybe tomorrow. But if I send him, well, this is pretty much how it's going to end. Me being crazy in a shelter. I can't go out if I send him 
that is the end of the game. Yeah, it's not the best, but he could take the risk. Yeah, it's uh, not happening. And I definitely have not enough food in here to deal with the situation. Come on, guys. What am I? I'm. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy. I can just skip through this and see how long I could potentially survive. Would be quite interesting. I think I could make it like 10 more days, maybe. And I'm not gonna get rescued in a few more days. That is not going to happen. It's probably gonna need to be way more than that. So I think my plan with getting the kids down here was not the worst idea, but I think I should keep them because they can go out into the wasteland and then they can find us food, which we so need. <sighs> well, yeah, let's let's prepare an expedition and I don't think this is going anywhere. This is definitely not going anywhere. What a shame. Ted is hungry. I mean, okay, let's 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 think for a second. Let's give him food and water. So we have one more water bottle. That means every like three days he needs water. So yeah, he can technically like make 12 to 15 days. But it's not going to help us because our storage is not going to increase. We're not going to get all of a sudden magically more uh, bottles or anything. Yeah, nothing going on with Ted. We can just skip through here. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. Without a radio? Man, if I'm building a shelter, I'm going to have two radios. Just in case some mutant crazy rat jumps out and tries to kill us. Something along those lines. Well, let's, let's end this at least in dignity. Let's go out of the shelter, because sitting around here is not going anywhere. So... Let's send Ted out on an expedition, which will end the game. The end. You've been driven away, or something, or you perished? I don't know what it is. Let's see. Uh, 38 days, I mean, eh, not too shabby. was interesting to just not feed the kids for too long. That's a shame with Timmy that he didn't come back. But uh, yeah, we were driven away. That's okay. At least it survived. I still think that's like a slight win, something along those lines. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 60 Seconds. In the next one, I'm going to try to get all the kids again and be really stingy with the food. Um, as best as I can. And just see if we can sit it out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Hit that like button. He likes it. Trust me. He told me in confidence. Anyway, I'm Weasel. I'm out. I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Ooh, a blimp.